Composing Gloves here, and today we're going to be going over how to load samples in the channel, in the channel rack without using your mouse. So I am going to cheat real quick, hold down control. Okay, so wait, back up. So we're going to be working on how to really make browsing which is more effective and how to load samples. Now, this, you might find ways, there are, I personally think there's faster ways when you do incorporate your mouse, but there are definitely some things in here that are going to be worth your time. So let's talk about this. I expect you to have watched the previous video on um, keyboard focus because that's going to matter at this point. Pretty much every tutorial after this will, it will probably come into play. So what you do is first you need a whole bunch of sampler channels for this particular workflow and uh, later workflows it might not matter as much. What you do is you control click your channels, you select them all and then hit alt uh, C for clone and so you clone them twice that way we just have a whole bunch of samples that we have potential to load into and as I move my mouse up and down I can select a channel cool now let's talk about the browser so browsing there's several effective ways to do it we are going to look at one but before we do you should notice that if you hit the numbers above your keyboard one two whoops that's the thing. I need to move my keyboard focus to my browser. So you hit Alt F8. Now it is in the browser. You can see that I am now moving my keyboard up and down. So what you could do is if you hit one, two, or three above your above your keyboard, the, the number row up top, not the numeric keypad, you can save browser states and snap settings. And so four through nine, and I suppose zero, are all are all available to you for snap settings. Actually, zero is auto next to it. I'm not sure what that means. But uh, anyways, so if I hit four, I already have it loaded up to a folder I constantly go into. And as you can see, it's like three folders down and it's got all these great drum and sam drum samples and stuff. So organizing your samples is like a whole nother topic we'll, ex we'll look at another day. But once you do have them organized, you can come in here and just get to them by simply hitting four instead of going, oh, I want this and this and this and that. Just just takes longer. The other, So let's talk about how you can set that up. So for example, if I hit seven, it brings me to my twisted tools folder, which is really Really cool but let's say I wanted it to open up my packs mode audio and I wanted it to open up my uh, kicks because I'm always going to look for my kicks right so I wanted this folder to be open instead well I would open up my snap setting and I would just simply control click the number seven now this has been saved so if I hit four it opens up black octopus leviathan if I hit seven it'll open this up so we're going to use this first. So first, I'm going to look for a kick. And I know that the kick I particularly want is in my snap setting 4. So now here it is in 4. And I can use my up and down arrows to go and look in them. So if I move up and down, it'll select folders. If I hit left, it'll bring me to the, the folder, the, the master folder. If I hit it again, it'll close the folder. If I hit right it'll open the folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to my kicks. And now as I move up and down, you can preview your kicks immediately without, now this isn't, you can't change the preview setting for like loops and stuff, which I think is lame, but you know, that's just the way life is. But for one shot samples, it works great. So as I move up and down, I can hear the samples and I could choose one like, let's say I want that one. Now it's important to note here that my sample channel is already selected. So to do this, you have to go either above or below it. You'll hold down shift and navigate to the one you want. So as you see, I just loaded up kick 005. If I want kick 006, I'd hold down shift and push down. There's no way to load it as far as I know why you're on it but if you want to hear the sample without having to go up and down like that you can just hit your uh what is that right arrow key and you can continually hear it but can holding down control all it doesn't it doesn't work you have to go shift up or shift down so that's the way you do that now let's say that that's the kick we want now you need to go to your next sample channel right so what you're going to do is you're going to hit f6 now you've just shifted your keyboard focus to your channel rack and then you're going to go up and down and select your next channel so we're going to go to our next channel right hit alt f8 to move your keyboard focus back to your drum thing you to your not to your drums to your browser and then you hit f then you hit not f4 then you hit four Oh, I'm already in that that mode. So, yeah, it's a weird thing with the snap setting. But anyways, you you close the folder and you simply go over. And because my samples are well organized, I can simply go to, for example, let's say I want a hi hat. I'll go to my hi hats. 
or these these samples are already well organized for me but i have other systems uh, even though it looks sort of messy down there now let's say that i do not uh i do not want the hi-hat in here i want to see what other hi-hats i have available well i can hit Control f it will bring up the smart search function so i could type in hi hat in search and oh it did not oh there we go so it's searching and now if i hit f2 it'll bring me to my next one and i can see it's scanning searching for a high hat searching for a high hat da -da 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 -da. these are not high hats so i may want what you might not want the smart search function in some cases because it'll do crap like this and so what we're going to do, yeah, well, this backfired. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Alt F instead of Control F because this is stupid. Hold the escape to abort. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Alt F and we're going to type the same thing. This is not smart. So what it'll do is it'll just go to the first thing with hi-hat in it. So we're going to F2. Holy crap, man. I normally do not have this problem. All right. Instead, let's try it with a kick or a snare. Let's go snare. Snare. And so we'll hit F2 to go to our next snare and then our next. See that? Now it's working great. I don't know what the deal was with hi hats, but for some reason, my hi hats, and this, you go, I can, I can hear my snares. It might take a second depending i have multiple drives in this browser so it takes a while for it sometimes to find it but once it's found the folder then i can just go through and listen so you see now i'm finding all these different snares that i want so let's say that like uh, and oh and i'm hitting f2 to go to the previous snare f3 to go to the next snare i think i said f2 was the next earlier f2 will, as you can see if i hit f2 it'll go to the previous snare i had and f3 will go to the next and now I would I still recommend smart function which is control F. This will this will dynamically look for the next and you hit escape to exit a menu. Uh, that will look for the next that will that will just throw out trash files, files that you aren't concerned with if they have the word snare in them usually. Like I believe it will leave project files out. If you want to search specifically for a type of file, you can simply add the extension like snare.flp or whatever. Uh, and another thing and Alt F, that's the other thing. Alt F will go through simply anything that has that in the name. So let's say, oh, here's some hi hats. But, anyways, I'm using my up and down keys at this point. So let's say this is the snare I want. I'm going to go above it and hit shift down, load it up. It is now loaded. So obviously, I'd be doing this like way faster. And with a combination of the mouse, another option for loading samples directly into a sampler channel is to simply control click it. So you can control click if you want. But I did not like that. So I'm going to hit F2 to go up. And I'd say oh, that's the one I want. So I'm going to load up that one. Now I'm going to hit F6. Change my channel. Alt F8. Close, close these because this is ridiculous. I have all these open folders now. So, okay. And I'm going to use my... See, now this is where either I could use another search function or I can hit my shortcut 4 at the top which is not loading up the thing I want for. If you mess with the setting you left it under, I believe it'll also save it, but no big deal. We can just do this. Let's say I want to go digging through. See, now, my, now, okay, so another quick point. It opened up section four, but all this crap down here was still open. So you want to be careful how you leave some of these because it could open up like this massive thing. So just trying to streamline stuff a little bit better. As, and that's one of one of the things you need to be aware of if you want to keep it, you know, streamlined. I'm gonna look for some hi hats now. I like that one. What the heck? Let's load up that one. So I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna control click it this time. And so if let's say that you have this huge list of samples and you know that you want to go down quite a ways, you can hit page up or page down. It will take you to the samples at the end, as you see. It will just take you to the folders at the end of your page. So it's a very useful way for navigating enormous sample libraries very quickly. And that is really all there is to it. Let's look for a clap, yeah? So uh, we've got our hi-hat. Now let's go, we're gonna hit F6 to bring up our, cha our channel rack. We're gonna select the next channel. I suppose in this case we only need four, but these are extras and we'll talk about what we're gonna do with those after. And so next we're gonna hit uh, uh, Alt F8. Man, I'm just saying uh, a lot. 
close this folder. We're going to go to the claps folder. Now, I do not, I'm not the biggest fan of the claps inside of Black Octopus. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control F and we're going to search for clap. And these first ones, of course, are useless. So, we're going to hit F3 to go to the next options. F3, 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 F3. Just hold down F3. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Uh, these are snares. I like that. So we're going to go above it and hit shift down. It is now loaded and we're going to call that good. So we're going to hit alt F8 to close the browser. We're going to hit F6 to bring up, whoops, F6 to focus on the channel rack. And so now we can get, begin constructing our part with our samples. So hopefully you got some ideas there. Obviously it took a lot longer because I was explaining and showing you how to set up different things, but this could be extraordinarily streamlined and in combination with your mouse, it'll just be really fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down uh, shift and we're going to select all these other ones and hit alt delete. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete these? You click yes. And now all you're left with is the things you can go ahead and select uh, whatever it is you want to do. We could do something like this. See, so I use my space bar there kind of creatively or whatever, but that's how you do that. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this will influence your workflow. You'll be able to load up stuff faster. Again, Alt F8 is the browser and you want to remember that F6 thing because you need to be sure of where your keyboard focus is before you start doing crap. If you have any questions, let me know. Support me on Patreon because people like you allow me to do things like this. Subscribe and have a blessed day. And it's this sound. <laughs> So that da na 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 is oh yeah, it's real cool. Now this is one of those sounds he changes it quite a bit because there's a lot of really cool timbres that come in and out of this song, and it's all I'm pretty sure a variation on the same patch. So here's my sound.